So I almost gave up on trying to fix this issue. Uh, I have the old um, GNS3 VM being grayed out issue that I've ran into in the past. And this time, all the troubleshooting, all the normal troubleshooting that normally fixes it didn't work for me. And jumping right to it, the issue was NordVPN. Uh, I have a setting enabled. And if you go under settings and then connection, NordVPN. Um, it's this guy down here. Stay invisible on LAN. Keep your device invisible on local network. Right? If I switch this off, and give it a second. There it goes. See, it immediately switches to green. Now, I'm going to show you guys some other troubleshooting as well, but just to get it out there, this is what worked for me. If you're running a VPN client that also has a similar setting, you might look into that. Um, a Windows setting perhaps that disables traffic like that but it deems private traffic could potentially also cause this issue. Uh, I'm not sure but if you've tried all the normal troubleshooting and nothing's working it, it could be one of your applications potentially. Uh, but getting into the other things you can try and you can find a lot of these all over the place here. Um, going to your uh, adapter settings here Oh, sorry, that was kind of fast. Um, to open control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, and you're going to uh, disable and then re-enable both of your VMware network adapters. These are your virtual adapters. And I'll ask you for admin credentials just doing that real quick and done okay now normally for me in the past that fixed the issue but uh, this time that was a normal thing I tried didn't work whatsoever so another thing you can try beyond that is Closing out GNS3, launching VMware on its own, so just VMware, going to edit, virtual network editor, and then going to change settings, so we're basically going to restore all these settings to default. So VMNet1, I'm going to click, click on it, and then click restore defaults. Yes. And it's basically just going to revert back to default settings. And you'll want to do that for both of these adapters, host only and NAT. And that will, for me, usually fixes the problem as well. But, you know, in this case, it was because I had that stupid setting enabled. So, if it, just just the heads up for folks, as uh, I think I'm probably in the minority of pe the people who have NordVPN, are trying to use GNS3, uh, and running into that GNS3 VM error, and also have that setting enabled in Nord. Uh, like, I'm probably in a small minority here, but if it helps somebody, I'll call it a win.